Virgos, hey my loves. Oh, welcome back to another video. This is Empress Meek and this is Closer to My Destiny's Tea. Welcome back to all my family, loves, and friends. My soul tribe, I love you so much. I'm going to be talking a little bit quieter and I'm relaxed energy right now because my daughter is asleep. I'm early morning grinding for you. You already know how I do. Okay, I'm the early bird. So Virgos, let's get into this energy. I feel I feel a lot of great things going on in your energy. Thank God. You know, I don't feel a lot of strife. Okay, some people are going through their own thing. Some people create their own karma. So they're going through karma. All right. But a lot of you guys are balanced. Okay, you're doing really, really well. I'm feeling money, money, money. Somebody got some money. I told you guys two weeks ago, I saw money coming. I saw money coming all last week. Somebody got some money. And if you don't know that you got some money, check your account okay y'all got some money some people got some unexpected income and that's a blessing okay you're able to do a few things that you wanted to do when you thought you weren't going to pay your bills you can patience and planning don't spend all your money in all in one place make sure you're still taking your time being on your grind and doing things the way you're supposed to do them all right you waited a long time to be able to solve a few problems and now you can solve them so make sure you show gratitude by doing the right thing and putting out to the universe that you're worthy of more money more success all right so with that being said, I want to say hello to all of my loves. Welcome all my new subscribers. Hey y'all, we love you and we receive you with open arms. You can always get loved on in the comments, okay? Somebody might be emotionally withdrawn for a little while. Don't feel like things are going your way. That's sometimes good, all right? With great sacrifice comes great reward. So you are taking that lonely time for a minute just to tap into spirit and you're never alone, okay? That's the truth. All right. Okay. All right, y'all. If you're not feeling well, I pray that you allow my high vibrations and my good, good energy to make you feel a whole lot better. Okay. I'm sending you a multitude of love, spiritual wisdom, and guidance. Okay, guys. So let's get into your reading. Let's see what's going on. All right. Give me clear messages, please, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, North Node, Cross Watchers, and everybody watching my videos. Holy Spirit, what would you like to say to our collective today? What messages do they need to know? How can I be a vessel of love and light for them to make their path a lot lighter? I mean, their path a lot brighter and their load a lot lighter. Thank you for all you do, seen and unseen in the divine realm. We appreciate each and every blessing of love and light and encouragement you bestow upon us. Thank you so, so much for blocking any negative energy, entity, witchcraft, wickedness that may be coming up against our channel. Thank you so much for binding that energy and only draw from your divine realm of love, light, and spiritual guidance. We thank you. Clothing us, health, wealth, and ooh, these blessings of finance. Amen, amen, and amen again. All right, guys, we got some good stuff out here. Somebody is pregnant. Somebody is finding out that they are pregnant and they are finding it as a challenge, okay? Um, love begins in a home. So somebody might be finding someone that they really love and thinking about moving together. Um, sacrifice. Somebody is thinking about sacrificing. Oh, well, I don't want to say it because I'm hoping against it. But somebody might not be keeping their child um, because of the circumstances, the obstacles, and the challenges. Um, I'm praying against that. Hopefully, you find a way to do, keep it, and figure out, you know, what you can do to make things better. But I'm not judging. There's no judgment here. All right? Everybody does what they feel like is necessary for their particular situation. So, I'm seeing that someone here is seeking advice from the universe, readings, psychic, okay, a reader, all right, and you may be watching your readings to try to see um, if it's a wise choice to go through with this. Um, some people are giving up a lot of toxicity and negative energy, okay, and connecting with the most high. These readings are for multiple people. They are not your personal reading, okay? And this is not for everybody. A lot of my Virgos understand that. But I do have some people that are coming into the comments speaking like it's their personal reading. And it's like, okay, this is not your personal life story. 
um, it's no way I can just draw your energy when there's so many people watching me, okay? But I'll be happy to do a personal reading. My email is closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one, at gmail.com, and we can book you a personal reading. Thank you, by the way, to everybody who's been booking them. I really appreciate you. Moving on. So things are happening very fast in your life right now, okay? You're faced with a lot of different um, oppositions. A lot of you are being very successful in the goodness. The good days just keep on coming in. You're feeling really, really good. You're fulfilled. Everything looks great for you. Everything is going really good. And you are moving up the ladder at a very fast, unexpected pace, okay? Not that you didn't have faith that you were going to be amazing and God is awesome. But baby, you ain't see it happening this fast. As soon as you tap into your energy, realize your power, and started believing again, you move, you move, okay? For some of you, time is ticking. You feel like um, you're running out of time and you have to make a, situ um, a decision on this situation, okay? For the ones of you who found new love, you better be careful, baby, because you're going to be pregnant within three months. So you better be careful. If you're not ready to have a baby, strap it up, okay? Make sure he strikes it up, pull out, you know, I'll look, I, I ain't knocking the pull out method. I ain't, I'm telling you, it worked for me for five years and then I got pregnant and that was because he did not pull out. So that maybe two of my TMI for some, but it's helpful for many. Okay. So it's not like that doesn't work. You just got to be on it. All right. But <laughs> do whatever you have to do to make sure that... <laughs> <laughs> you don't get pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant because this love is strong, baby. And I'm getting y'all doing it a lot. So, yeah. Okay. But anyway, let's move on, Virgo. <laughs> Somebody's definitely trapped in fear about this pregnancy situation. So, somebody's already pregnant, okay? Um, Let's see what's going on. Let's tap in a little bit more, okay? The waiting game, waiting, discontentment and boredom. So bored with your home situation, just waiting on what to do, figuring out things, waiting on the opportunity to move forward. Oh, babies are a blessing, y'all. Some people can't even get pregnant. So think things through, okay? Just think it through. That's all I'm saying. You're feeling really stuck, though. I see that, okay? All right, let's go. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels, what you have for us? Thank you for allowing me to be a vessel, a channel of love and light for the Virgo, planting seeds of hope, acceleration, and love. So people, somebody is definitely giving up this toxic energy, these manipulative ways, okay? You're learning from your mistakes and you're feeling like, look, this doesn't serve me. I'm not winning in this energy. The devil ain't nobody friend, honey. Nobody friend. All right? And you see that, okay? And right here, you're tapping into the universe, Holy Spirit. To get some answers, some clarity. Hold on, y'all. Y'all know I don't mess around with no devil. Mm -mm. You take your, de your demon tail somewhere else. I don't have time for that. Uh -uh. I learned enough lessons and spent enough time with you faked me. <laughs> Doing stupid stuff. <laughs> I had enough of you laughing at me, okay? Making a whole comedy show out of my life. No, thank you. Get away. Right? <laughs> okay? He's sitting back there popping the popcorn and cracking the hell up on me off of what I was doing, okay? He, just, he said, look, Satan was like, oh, she going to take him back again. <laughs> I knew it. See what I mean? I don't got time for that. You know, get, get. I know y'all can relate, okay? Damn sure making a day on comedy show, a sitcom out of our lives. So he don't get no power and no nothing from me. You're only getting entertained because somebody is somebody else's story. Let me cover them up. Let's get one on the devil. Let's get one on the devil, Holy Spirit. Why is the devil here? A Capricorn could be significant, but this is representing manipulation, mind games, too much control. I don't even get that this is about drugs or addictions, but some people could be releasing addictions. Yep. High Priestess. So tapping into your intuition, being connected to the divine, getting readings, getting encouragement and the enlightenment you need. From a reader, from somebody wise, somebody wise in the spiritual realm, somebody that's a light worker here to help, okay? You're understanding that you need to release that toxic energy to get the love that you want and the life that you want. If you want a happy home, happy life, you have to release that toxicity because it's only going to bring you obstacles and challenges for your home, okay? Let's go. Love begins. Why is love begins here for the Virgos? 
Holy Spirit, Ancestors, Spirit Guides. We've already passed the card. Hold on, guys. Okay. Right. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody definitely found a relationship. Found love. I found a love. Ah, for me. Yay. <laughs> people you have options in love okay you have options okay um and for some people um this is not for a lot of you but for somebody the options is what got you in trouble okay you had options and you explored those options maybe when you were already in a situation you shouldn't have okay and it got you in some trouble mm -hmm. yes 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 and for some confusion let's see Yep, a third party situation maybe working with somebody maybe somebody investing in you for services okay but now that you found this out, you are, but now, first you thought this was love, but you were a little bit confused and cloudy. You guys could have been smoking together and having fun together or whatever, but you have options. So you explored this option um, and got into a third party when you were already in a connection. And now this third party person is holding back from you when you thought it was love. All right. You are also holding back because now you're pregnant. Look the lover situation pregnant by the other party okay so now you have to figure out how number one you're going to have to make you're going to have that's why you're thinking about making a sacrifice because this baby whoever it is is not by your person this baby is by the third party and they're holding back money they're going to hold back commitment they're holding back investing and talking i don't know if you already told them but once they find out they are going to be outie <laughs> That's old as hell, y'all. I'll be 5,000. <laughs> Who know what that means? Put it in the comments. Who <laughs> remember that? I'm Ivy 5,000. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm tripping, y'all. <sighs> King of Swords, honey. Universe, okay? So, using your intuition to be in your power, you are about to make a decision to cut something out. Okay, so you're making a decision to let go of something. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be significant. Okay, Gemini, Gemini again is the lovers. Um, so a Gemini could be very significant or this just this lover situation. But the King of Swords is going in. He's not taking any crap. He don't hear a lot of crap talking. He just goes in, do what he has to do and get out of there. He's very just, very straight to the point, very logical person and a thinker. All right, so you're in this King of Swords energy. You're being confident and maybe my Virgo male, but you are deciding to cut somebody off, cut something out. You don't like what you found out, okay? Something is going on, okay? Nine of Swords, you're all in your head about this communication that you received. You just don't know what to do. You're about to make that final chop, okay? King of Swords, what you want to tell us today? King of Swords, what would you like to tell the Virgos? Wow, the Hierophant. So this could be a doctor. This could be a lawyer. This could be um, someone of wise counsel, once again, okay? A spiritual leader, somebody that is from the spiritual realm, realm that is wise and elevated. Um, this could be your religion. You might be choosing not to honor what you believe as far as sacrificing a child um but this is really deep okay so right now you are one on the high event Taurus could be significant um it could be ending representing a commitment as well ending a commitment with someone queen of wands you're ending a commitment with the third party situation okay or for my verbal males you're ending a commitment with somebody yes yeah, a third party situation um or this could be you deciding to not go out and be exploring other options when you're in a relationship. You're definitely learning from this lesson. Foundation and achievement. This is a deep reading, y'all. It's Sunday. My God. This happened last Sunday. I'm trying to give a spiritual message. I said, this is spiritual. <laughs> I did not. My y'all are funny as hell. Like, <laughs> foundations and achievements. Somebody definitely 
um, is about to move into a new home. You'll be much happier there. Um, this is a wish that you have that you're waiting for to be fulfilled and it will be granted. You will be able to move into a new home. All right. So somebody is definitely moving into a new home. Somebody's moving into a new home with their new love. Okay. All of this information is resonating with you guys as it resonates. Okay. Not everybody is pregnant. Not everybody is cheating. Come on now, y'all. Stay with me. Okay. I'm doing my best to read them separately if I can. Okay. And showing you where it resonates. Obstacles and challenges, five of cups, definitely walking away from this situation. Okay, so you're having to end this. You're like, I can't do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. It will ruin. Every if I do this, it won't be right. So you're walking away from a broken relationship, a home, a family dynamic that you feel like it's just not serving you any longer. Um, because of the situation, and you're very emotional about this. You're very much in your emotions crying and not understanding what to do for some of you you are happy and you have after having a hard time and having to walk away from something you weren't ready from for you found love not only that here go that money again y'all got some money somebody coming at you family members or something asking you for money too and you're holding back you're like nope 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 <laughs> who family asking them for money put that in the comments too <laughs> You like, no, look, you like, uh-uh, nope. You can ask all you want, be nice as you want. I'm pouring it out because I ain't listening to you. You ain't getting nothing. I healed from that situation and I ain't giving you a red dime. I ain't giving you a red hot cent. You don't pay me back. And not only that, you don't, you don't give me nothing. I'm not giving you nothing. No. <laughs> Y'all, I cannot. This is a lot of different energy. But um, this person that is going through this lover's situation could be seen as a star, very attractive, getting a lot of attention, and you gave in, okay? You gave in. Give me one on the Nine of Cups in the family situation. Also, the Nine of Cups is definitely a wish fulfilled, so you're going to be able to move. If you want to move and you want to know if you're going to be able to move from this place, yes. King of Cups, ooh. So, somebody's met a Scorpio that they are happy with. Oh, my God. Very, very happy with. This person is loving and caring, okay? And this person wants to be your man. This person wants to work with you. This person wants you. And he is manifesting a happily ever after situation with you. You could be seeing this on a reading about him a lot, okay? This person is a past life connection, a soulmate, all right? And for some of you, this Scorpio is watching you from the past. Um, and he's admiring you. He can see you some way online and he's admiring you and remembering the love that you guys shared and how good it was when he did get a chance to be with you for the good parts. Some of you have somebody coming back from the past that wants to have sex. All right. They remember that. All right. But they're being strong. All right. They know you're single. Okay. And you might be investing also in just being single. Um, this person that I'm speaking to that may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and um, Aquarius again is on the board. Um, Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces is here again. And then also a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? That fire, all right? So all of these signs are very much significant here. Virgo is on the board heavy. Taurus is on the board too. And we got Gemini on the board, okay? So all these signs are significant here in this situation. Um, some of you are definitely um, planning to stay single, okay? So you're staying single. The Scorpio manifested you, okay? Whoever's dating a Scorpio and it's working really good and you're very happy, the Scorpio manifested you, okay? When it comes to you working with a Sagittarius, you are being solo dolo. You're strong enough to reject this person. You're not dealing with the Sagittarius, all right? Children could be involved in this dynamic. We already see that. Um, somebody could have their child's father coming back trying to get with them or something about money and the kids. Let me know. This is a whole lot of different energy. <laughs> I cannot. Somebody has a page of pentacles, an um, a earth sign child that is going to be coming to them asking them for money. Um, not only that, this is you investing in a situation probably manifesting the life that you want and also you're investing in being guarded okay you're not waiting anymore on anything you are going to make the decision to go forward with whatever you need to go forward with and make your life peaceful again okay all right y'all well this was deep honeys i love you to life and 
I don't know if I'm doing another reading. These two readings was crazy, y'all. Check the other reading, okay? Um, but I love you so much, and I'm glad and thankful, very grateful to be a light on your path. Thank you for each and every one of you watching me, and I will see you sooner than later. I probably will tap in later on and see if I can pull some good stuff. Okay, but this was good stuff. Somebody's in love. Some people are in love. You met the one you want. Y'all about to move together. That's perfect. You're going to find a really nice house. That's wonderful. Somebody got that bag. I told you you was going to get some money. I told you two weeks ago. Check the readings out. I told you. All right. And somebody is using their intuition to stay clear of toxic energy. Thank God. For the people who are deciding to not go through with their pregnancy, I love you. I'm sending you my love and encouragement. That's not an easy thing to get over. It really works on your soul. So I love you. Okay. Make sure you tap into the divine and talk to God about your situation before you make your choice. Okay. All right. I will talk to you sooner than later. Um, and guys, love the people in the comments. Give them some advice if they are talking about their story. We appreciate their transparency and we love them here. Okay. This is a channel of love, light and encouragement and acceleration and growth. All right. I love you. Thank you so much, guys. Take care.